world is now open in Florida as the state reports a record number of coronavirus deaths and now, as of today, more than 10,000 new cases. Disney fans are visiting the Magic Kingdom as the park opens to the public for the first time in 116 days, despite the state continuing to hit those new highs. CNN's Natasha Chen joins me now. Natasha, many people flocking there. It's been called the happiest place on earth. Lots of people looking for a bit more happiness. What can those visitors to Disney World expect today? Well, Alex, it's going to be very different for them. And in fact, it's going to be a little bit difficult first to get into the parks compared to before. There is an advanced reservation required, and that's one way Disney is trying to keep the numbers low. Now, more people are arriving today and the public reopening compared to the last two days of annual pass holder previews. But from what pass holders have told us, very few people there. Here's what it looked like inside. Disney theme parks may be an escape to a fictional bubble, but no amount of pixie dust can wipe away the realities of a pandemic. It does feel a bit surreal. It's a whole new world of temperature checks, parties separated on rides, touchless payments and entry, and required face masks that must loop around human ears. There are also far fewer people in the parks due to significantly reduced capacity and a required advanced reservation for people wanting to go in. I do feel a bit nervous when trying to do all the things I love and enjoy doing again, but also remembering to do them as safely as I possibly can. Wearing an N95 mask to the parks, social distancing from other park goers, packing Clorox wipes, packing hand sanitizer, keeping my hands clean at all the different hand washing stations. That's cool, I just washed my hands. For locals and theme park bloggers in Orange County, Florida, where COVID cases are rising rapidly along with the rest of the state. We feel safer at theme parks than we do at any other normal store or restaurant. It feels safer at the theme parks because they're putting in that extra effort. He says the extra effort is more visible at Disney than he's seen at other theme parks that reopened in the past month. Rides frequently stopped so employees could sanitize them. Plexiglass, especially in tight queues, and something he doesn't always see outside Disney property. It really blew me away that everyone was was following all the rules, so I definitely didn't expect that. Orange County officials were asked Thursday if they'd seen COVID cases stemming from the theme parks that are already open. You know, I would be lying to say that we have not seen a case here and there that um, mentioned uh, one of the parks. But we have not seen an outbreak in any of the parks that are open so far that we are aware of. Disney's chief medical officer said in a blog post this week, we have reimagined the Disney experience so we can all enjoy the magic responsibly. And that includes the many restaurants on Disney property, like Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, which has a new patio and spaced out tables. Everyone wants to enjoy um, their time here, but safely. And, um, and I think together, we're doing that. He says people need a safe way to get a little comfort food and magic right now. This ain't how we are in good times. It's how we are in challenging times, okay? And with fewer people in the parks, there are shorter wait times for all the rides right now. But during pass holder previews, we did learn about one thing that people waited a long time for. There was a virtual queue of up to four hours for people wanting to buy merchandise related to the ride Splash Mountain. If you remember, Disney announced recently they're changing the theme of that ride, which currently is related to a story with some racially insensitive origins. They're changing that to a Princess and the Frog ride. So there was a long wait for people trying to get the merchandise for that older theme, Alex.